It's okay, Mike. Um, I just sh I feel like I should issue a formal apology <laughs> for last time. Yeah. Okay. I just uh, okay. I guess I was having a bad day on Am I the Asshole last time, and I had a lot of really bad takes about a lot of uh uh, uh situations that were discussed, and um, uh, I apologize. Also, I was kind of trolling. I just thought I was in a safe space where we could uh uh dissect. Just know that I am a compassionate person who does care, and I'm a huge empath, and I do empathize with a lot of people. <laughs> oh, Sometimes do you? I really? like to. Maybe you should wear my hoodie. Yeah, switch clothes. Oh, whoa! How perfect. Matt's takes today. Well, you know what? Just <laughs> <laughs> think. But um, she feels that way. I support her. Okay. <laughs> but to clarify, <laughs> to clarify, and come right out of the gate with it, we are doing "Am I the Asshole?" Part Two. Woo! It was very funny when Mike texted it yesterday. I was like, wait to see what you would say and you're like yeah i'm down and i was like oh interesting well i hopefully i have just better takes this he's time. gotta redeem himself for the people who are not familiar with uh this is based on the subreddit uh am i the where people will submit um their own personal stories asking the audience if they think they're the mm -hmm. or if they're not the or if everyone would I just be the sucks asshole? oh yeah or if w everyone just ita yeah good job yeah so some tips for you, Matt. If we're all having a consensus, maybe just join just us agree. in the consensus. <laughs> also, I think the main problem last time, and I'm not trying to like gang up on you, was because you wouldn't, you didn't take it for face value. You were like, well, but if this happened, you can't think about all that, mm, which sorry. is hard because mm -hmm. we do the same thing. We're like, I need more context, but uh, you have to like deal with it without the context. Because you might be right. They might be a crazy person writing this in a very one sided way. But, the but point, we don't know that. Yeah. The point of this exercise is you have to trust that. And you have to basically be on their side and, and see it from their people. Yes. Okay. I was just imaginative. <laughs> I watched too many movies. <laughs> I mean, no, too many movies. Like, like, I don't know. Just know I'm not like that type of person who's always like, uh, let's look at the devil's advocate here. <laughs> like, why were they there in the first place? I'm not that type of person. Can I do the first one? Sure. Okay. Well, starting off hot. Am I the a hole? Also, a hole, you can say. Oh, we like, got no. we got demonetized on the yeah. last one. Oh, sh am I the oh, butthole? Oh shoot! <laughs> am, am I the, anus? the butthole? And, and it specifically said because of the beginning of the video. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it said within the first few minutes of the video there was a lot of that word, and we also I think the first one topic we talked about was like about poop and stuff. <laughs> I know. Grow up, YouTube, <laughs> Susan. She she quit. Yeah, she stepped <gasps> down. Susan quit. Well. Who's it now? I don't know. We should find Mr. out. Beast. <laughs> um, okay, here we go, folks. Maybe we just bleep it. Yeah, for unfortunate. Or am I the hole? Am I the bad? Can we say a hole? I don't know. We'll find out. Butthole. Just, just say butthole. Try hole. to say a hole. Well, let's not keep saying it. Guys. <laughs> just... <laughs> okay. Five minutes. A I T A. Oh, okay. Okay. Am I the the bleep bleep for calling my coworker chunky after she repeatedly calls me slim? Oh, we've done this one. Oh. But continue. And makes references to my weight after I asked her multiple times and not to. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I got to hear what everyone else thinks. I have a female coworker who repeatedly calls me out regarding my weight. I am a female, 5'9", 115 pounds and very thin. She is very overweight. She always makes comments about my weight. She doesn't call me by my name. She calls me slim. And I've heard her say, go ask toothpick. She had says stuff like, you need to meet on your bones and you need to eat. I've only worked there for eight days. I have asked her very nicely to stop. And I asked her to stop calling me slim. And she basically said it's her mouth and she could say what she wants, which is <laughs> a fucking great line to say to someone. It's my mouth. I can say what I want. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Your, your honor, it's my mouth and I can say what I want. Yeah. Um, today, when she said morning slim, I said, good morning, chunky. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot. I don't remember this one. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. And she got upset and started crying. And everyone here at work, six people said I'm wrong and I should apologize because being called fat is different than being called skinny because skinny is a compliment. So as long as she calls me slim, I will call her chunky. And that makes me a bad person. A-I-T-A. -A, am I the bleep bleep? If, no. If I don't uh, apologize. No. Sorry. Yeah. Why? Wait, wait, wait. Because you called her chunky. Like chunky is like... Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, I would I would have gone I would have gone maybe more like thick, like slim and I thick. Slim, and thick. Slim, this... slim and thick, I think, are they like, live, go in the same world. Uh, live in the same world. Chunky like implies like a little bit of like unhealthiness. I deadass would have just said 
how are you, you fat bitch? <laughs> like, as someone who's skinny and, like, has been told that shit their whole life, like, you need to eat more. Put some skin on those bones. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, shut the fuck up. You know, me and Carly were talking about that. You need to put more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Like, doctors have told me everyone. I'm like, I can't. But, like, it's really annoying when someone's constantly telling you and, like, picking at you for something that, like, you can't, you can't change. change. So it's like, fuck off. Yeah, you called it chunky. And also, I just chunky is so bold. I could chunky. still someone could be teasing me, teasing me. Yeah, but like, she's calling her skinny in a negative way. Yeah, she's calling her slim. What is she, 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 ch- she called yeah. a chunky monkey? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that there's a difference, really. <laughs> yeah, a little more chunky endearing, monkey. I guess. Yeah, it's yeah. like a little bit cuter, but yeah, yeah. no, I don't, I, know, wrap it up in I don't know. I think it's like if you're gonna do that, fine. <laughs> do you think they said this like? While they were walking into work, I picture uh, like, her like sitting at her desk. Hey, yeah. Chunky! She, like, walks by. Well, she's like, hey. she said it was in response. So it's yeah. like she walks into the morning and she goes, "Hey, Slim. Hey, Chunky." It and was it was a like, response. Yeah, and it's very obvious she's like the other woman who keeps calling her thin isn't doing it in a way that's like endearing. She's right. like intentionally like poking yeah, her. She doesn't yeah. like it. And so it's like if you're gonna like keep doing that to someone, you have to expect at some time they're just gonna like break. And also, you're this woman is making. The entire personality of the skinny woman about her, her weight. weight and yeah. her physical appearance. So if you are going to do that to someone else, someone is going to do it to you. Yes. And if you don't like the word, what if this girl doesn't like the word slim? What if she was made fun of when she was a kid for yeah. being called? Or she has like an eating disorder. Yes. Or like literally anything. It's slim. People say what up slim all the time to people. It's you like, say what up slim? My dad <laughs> My dad calls me that. What up slim? <laughs> yeah, but you don't have a problem with it. This yeah. person is like. Slim a- Jim, baby. <laughs> I saw I saw a funny TikTok of a guy going up to big people and going uh, out of the way of short stuff, or just like excuse me, yeah. Pips Week. Wait, what about? <laughs> wait, what if, what if somebody? No, what if somebody was big? Like yeah. Tristan said this. He goes, he hates when people go, "Hey, big guy." Yeah, that that's, kinda, but that's the point. Yeah, but yeah. that's the point. If Tristan was going around calling people slim and someone called him big guy, it's like, dude, you're talking about someone's weight. Therefore, they're going to talk about your weight. Yeah, the thing is, though, bold place to do it in the work in the workplace. If it was like your own friend, like if it was Zane who was like, "Hey, Slim," and I was like, "What up, Chunky?" Like, yeah, that's fine. But she has a problem with it. Like, she's 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 doing it on purpose to like poke at her. And she said, "Hey, can you please stop calling me Slim? It, I, I don't like that." And she said, "It's my mouth. I can say what I want." Yeah. (laughs) So it's like, well, it's my and and it's her mouth, and she can say what she wants. Start off, start off strong, (laughs) man. You are the (laughs) asshole, but bold move just to call big person. (laughs) Chunky, you're asking for problems. Just that clip on TikTok. (laughs) Bold move. (laughs) If you're asking, if you're calling a person chunky, that you're gonna be like, what? What's wrong? Like, I think it's wrong that uh, I was made fun of too for being skinny. Like, I get it. I get it. And you did something about it. Good for you. Yeah. Wait, actually. Oh, sorry. No. No, I completely interrupted. Go ahead. I have nothing to say. Okay. I actually have one off the cuff that I just remembered. Ooh. Okay. It's not even from Reddit or anything, but I was watching Married at First Sight. And if you don't know what the show is, it's literally people getting married. Like the first time they meet each other or at the altar and they get married. It's a, it's I know. like they have matchmakers that like put the, people audition for the show and then they put them together based on whatever. Mike. I love the show. <laughs> yeah. But that just sounds like a. <laughs> Legal nightmare. <laughs> yeah. So there's this couple, and I can't remember what the issue is with the guy. I think he was he he was like balding or he was a redhead or something. And they were talking about what they're normally he attracted had a to. He was a, he was a <laughs> yeah. what's the defect? Oh, he was a ginger. That's what it was. Well, no, it, this is important. So he, I think he he had red hair. I don't really know. And they were talking about like what they're normally attracted to when they like find partners. And she was like, well, I normally don't go for redhead like redhead ginger men or something and she was just telling like that's not her style type. Like, type yeah and he goes he goes that's fair he's like i also usually go for more um what slimmer was, girls something like that it was like more fit more fit more fit women who aren't like who take chunky. care of their yeah no just like <laughs> more fit chunky. girls yeah. and people were pissed at him like all the girls were pissed at him. Wait, but the, what a double standard. Yeah, so I was having a hard time figuring out who, I don't know. Because, like, she told him that he wasn't attractive Something he because can't of change. his red well, hair. Well, he could dye his hair. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's, like, it's like, well, she could go a... on a treadmill. Well, like, yeah, I think, yeah, if you don't like something about someone's physical appearance that they cannot change. Like, don't say it. And then they, yeah. well, yeah, don't say it, but then you can't expect them to not say something about something that you can change. Like, 
whether or not you're in shape or eat right no, or totally. exercise. Yeah, but people are like that's so fucked up to like comment about a woman's body like we're on a love show about finding our types and our matches. Yeah, right? yeah. getting like, married at first that's... sight. It's hard. It's also hard to hear like, oh, you're bigger than what I totally. would have hoped. Obviously, but it's like at the same but time she said something. Yeah. <laughs> but at the that? same time, it's like she said something about his, the way he totally. looks, and he cannot change. And maybe she can't change. Maybe she literally totally. can't. Lose. I don't know. She wasn't even overweight, to be clear. Like she yeah. was very yeah. It sounds uh, like she might be the the A H on that one because you can't if you're a ginger. Also, you have like freckles, and it's like kind of a look. Yeah, I don't know. You can't I don't know. change. I was having a hard time figuring out. Like, is this fucked up? Or uh, like to me, it's not. Yeah, I was like, well, but she... maybe I'm biased because I'm a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She called you like, "What up, chicken legs?" Like something like that. That's a little bit more like. Are teasing. you talking about the first one? <laughs> yeah. Are we still? Then we go from that to. Well, yeah, we can still talk guess, about yeah, the first yeah. one. I don't know. I but, just think uh... if like if I were like I don't want to be friends with you because you have blue eyes, and then you were like, okay, I don't want to be friends with you because you're too skinny. It's like, yeah, you can't change. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. And I feel like he probably was saying that back to her as like, obviously, uh, like he maybe got like a little ego hurt. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's he's he's in retaliation. Sure. But also maybe he does prefer a woman who's more fit. I don't know. I don't know this person. Less chunky is the appropriate term. (laughs) Less chunky monkey. Yeah, (laughs) I like less chunky monkey. Chunky is offensive. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's the point. And you guys are like, it's no big deal. But that's the point. She should have called her chunky. Yeah, but you're not like feeling bad for the girl who's constantly getting berated for being slim. You don't find slim offensive. This girl does. Yeah. So, oh, oh, so like slim fast. That's like offensive. Okay, well, Demi Lovato. In this day or, and age, or yes. Talking, but you think Campbell soup chunky is like delicious. No, chunky they're not peanut calling butter. Somebody. I love chunky peanut butter. Yeah. I don't think chunky. I do too. Yeah. I like you're just a little chunky. Cream. Like when there's like a little kid, you're like, oh, he's a little chunky. There's chunky peanut butter? Yeah. Yeah. There's oh, no crunchy. Chunks. I know there's crunchy peanut butter. Oh, maybe butter. that's what it What's is. What's chunky peanut butter? Wait, is it is it crunchy or chunky? Crunchy. It's crunchy and then there's no, it's soup chunky. that's it's chunky. It's 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 either smooth or chunky peanut butter, not crunchy. It's smooth. Or chunky. I think crunchy. It's, it's called crunchy because there's the freaking peanuts in it, Mike. Guys. Mandela. <laughs> Guys. It's Smooth. chunky. It is the soup that says chunky. Did you, you know Malcolm Gladwell's whole thing about like different types of soup? I don't know that person. Oh, wow. Google. Smooth peanut butter versus crunchy. Smooth peanut butter versus chunky. Oh. Huh. Maybe What's we're all just tea? wrong. You know what? No, no, no. I'm the asshole. Well, that's <laughs> been yeah. made very clear. One and oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, oh, Skippy calls it. Oh, Skippy. Hold on. We're both oh. right. They okay. write extra crunchy at the top, and then at the bottom, it says super chunk. Oh. So they get both words in there. Chunks. 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 What a chunk. <laughs> <laughs> you it's she what that? she, she deserved. Like, chunk. I think chunk. you're ignoring the fact that this woman's like bullying her. Yes. To begin with. That it's, yeah. Yes. When you're just going to snap one day. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. You have one? Well, I have a real one. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by Way. Spring is upon us. It is time for a reset. Let go of whatever is not serving you and make way for a new season, new growth, new change. The best way to give your hair the reset it needs this spring, scalp care. Healthy hair starts at the scalp and Way's got the scalp care to help you let your hair down this season and get it looking stronger, fuller, and healthier. I do have the Way scalp scrub. It is also a body scrub and it smells so good and I always use it when I feel like I have a buildup of like product in my hair or I just need like a really good wash. It is so delicious smelling. I'm obsessed with it. Way has sent me products throughout my time of being an influencer and everything they have sent smells so good. I have their hand soap, lotion, leave-in conditioner spray. It all is just incredible and I I will always be using Way for my hair and body. Way also has a detox shampoo that gives your scalp and hair a reset. Time for a reset with a concentrated shampoo that cleanses away product buildup, hard water deposits, dirt, oil, and more. Perfect for oiliness, unwanted shine, and flaky or dry scalp. The way to healthy hair this season and beyond starts here. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com and use code GOOD for 15% off your entire purchase. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com, code GOOD. Am I the A? Can I say a-hole? Yeah. No. I don't want to say bleep bleep. Okay. Am I the a-hole? <laughs> bleep bleep. Bleep bleep. Wait, bark, bark. 
Am I the a-hole for wearing the joke bikini my friend got me? So it was my birthday a couple months ago. Had a party, got some gifts. My friend Mandy, <clears throat> for me, had a super cute bikini. I liked it. I said thanks. She had ripped the tags off, but whatever. Anyway, we went to the community pool with my roommate. Wore bikini, got in the water. Roommate immediately is like, um, girl, I look and see that the bikini is now kind of see-through. Haha, <gasps> 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 good joke, Mandy. Anyway, Mandy invited me over to her place to hang out with her and her boyfriend and a few others. Most leave and we're still hanging out. I'm like, hey, what if we get in your hot tub? I go change after them and meet her boyfriend in the hot tub. She's getting... Sorry. And meet her boyfriend in the hot tub. She's getting new drinks. I hop in immediately... He's looking at my chest. <laughs> I pretend I don't notice and just make small talk. She comes out a few minutes later and just looks up in shock. Eventually, she gets it. Uh, is that one of the... Is that the one that I bought? Yeah, I love it. I wear it everywhere. Makeup stuff about how I wore it to the beach, some party with lots of guys, etc. And she's just like, oh, we're in the tub for about 20 to 30 minutes. Eventually, get out and change. She approached me after and was like, um, I'm sorry, thought... Uh, I'm sorry, thought you'd notice, but it kind of is see-through. I'm like, yeah, I know. Why'd you buy me a fucking see-through bathing suit? She's like, it's a joke. Wait, you knew? So you just spent the last 30 minutes flashing my boyfriend on purpose? I reply, I'm just wearing my birthday gift from her. Anyway, am I the a-hole? This is very confusing. Basically, girl number one bought her friend yeah. a prank bikini that's see-through. She wore the see-through one, realized it was see-through, got a little upset and was like, that's kind of fucked up. I'm going to get you right back. Goes into a hot tub. With so she hasn't really worn it to all these other places. No, no, no. no. She literally wore it yeah, at the pool and was it. like, wow, so you want me to have a see-through bikini? I'm going to flash your boyfriend. Went into the hot tub. Made up a whole story about how she wears it all how the time. How big were her boobs? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they look perky? Two and oh. Two and oh. Girl, I'm joking. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a little, like, I think it's funny that she got her a see-through bathing suit as, like, a prank. I, I think that's, that's fucked really, up. That's really, that's like Gotcha. Assault. Yeah, that's. Oh, well, okay. You, Never mind then. <laughs> if if it's the th it is, the thing Imagine is, she came... was wearing it in the hot tub with her boyfriend while the other girl was going away. Like I get, I get if like you were wearing the see through one with like your girlfriends and you guys are all like joking, maybe even a larger group of people. But I can see why this upset the girl. But she bought it. I know. This is I your prank here. It, it, ha ha ha. Funny prank, right? You yeah. wanted to see my boobs. Everyone's going to see my boobs. Seems like kind of like an everyone sucks here situation. Yes. Like I think like a like a bathing suit exposing someone's body parts that maybe they don't want other people to see. Insane. Is really problematic and inappropriate. And then, you know, like doing something like that in retaliation is also super inappropriate. And but is like, what? Hold on. Retaliation. Sure. It's her body. She wants to show it off. Okay, yeah, but that's not what. That's not her purpose. <laughs> her at all. The the feminism was... leaving Aaron's body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the intent was for her to be like, well, I'm gonna wear this around like your boyfriend. I honestly think it's like, okay, slay. She's doubling down <laughs> yeah, on the prank. Yeah. But also, it's like you both kind of suck. It's like a funny story time on TikTok. I yeah. Think so I wore it around her boyfriend. Yeah. The first girl is the one is the butthole. The butthole. <laughs> Yeah, no, I agree. She's the anus. I agree. I don't think that's like an appropriate. I, I guess like, where did she give it to her? Were they in like a like at a beach? Seems like they were at their house. I think it okay. was just like their friends. How see through is this bathing suit? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys but never seen like the the uh, tr uh, swim trunks that I dissolve saw it when they dissolve? Yes. Yeah. I guess I'm just saying because it's always like really funny, and the men are always like, "Oh my god!" Oh, wait, there's swim trunks that dissolve. I know, but yeah. I feel like that's like. Uh, yeah, I yeah, guess yeah, it depends who it is and like yeah. what but they. That would be a nightmare. But if I was, they the... all no. jumped in a pool. There was like twenty guys. <laughs> okay, if it's twenty in. people, Honestly, that's funny. Honestly, if it's funny. happening to men, fine. Yeah, yeah. well, also yeah. if it's twenty people, is funny. If it's one person totally. at the party, like singled I would, out, I would have to leave the country. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would never see me again. I think yeah, everyone's kind of small. small. That's, yeah. yeah, it's because it's yeah, that's why it's so small. Yeah, that's it, Matt. Thank you. Well, what about the boyfriend in this situation? Just he's hey, he's a neutral third party. He's if just I, it depends he on was how staring at her chest. Was, but if I was like, <laughs> this is crazy. I would probably say to me, I would get up and I would like go find my girlfriend and be like, yo, she's at the fucking hot tub in this like seat. Would you say? I, would you say something like, hey, I think you're. Top is a little. No, I would go. I would go. Be like, this is insane. And I would go. <laughs> I would get up and be like, she's in the hot tub. It's the same thing. What if it was just the two of you? 
Me and would the girl? You, I would feel like so awkward I would be leaving. Like, I would I have know. to address it. I'd be like, this is see-through. This is totally <laughs> I can't be looking at this. Yeah. Yeah. I know for an instant, Patricia, if Patricia knew that like one of her friends were doing it and she came over, she would be like, what the hell? What the fuck is this? <laughs> She would be surprised because me, I'm the type of person that, like, if I see something, I go and, like, I go tell. Yeah. <laughs> Not, like, tell on them, but I'm like, this is so uncomfortable. Yeah. That's my take. But you were saying you don't think this is that bad of a prank. Well, I guess it depends what... Mm, let me look at it again. It depends who's Like, around. if Aaron bought you a see-through bikini for a pool party. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I so wouldn't sad. like, I this wouldn't is, like that, but this is so Carly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is... <laughs> it's like bullying. Like if it was just her. Yeah. It's yeah. Not... Just me. I think, I think why I said that because she seems to like, obviously she doesn't mind wearing it. She's going to like wear it around her and her boyfriend. She was like, haha, good joke. So I feel like she doesn't like really care. Right. I don't First think it's good girl? to like do that to somebody, but it seems like she wasn't like and that also, offended by hot tub, right? Was that established? That yeah. was the second. Uh, yeah. See, there's just like these factors. Her being in a topless bikini in a hot tub with her boyfriend for a good amount of time. For revenge. Would make anybody be like, Ugh, like yeah. what is going on Also, here? the fact that he was staring for 20 minutes. That's a long time. Oh, he was staring That's at her chest? That's what it said, right? Oh. That's what oh. it said at her chest. Boys will be boys. <laughs> mm. I guess. That's a joke. I think everyone sucks, but okay. Yeah, that was okay. That was everyone is the boyfriend sucks. Okay. All right, is it my turn, <laughs> Matthew? <laughs> Women's rights. Okay. okay, am I the asshole for letting my son operate the self checkout? I took my son with me to the grocery store today. He is seven. I'm a big believer in learning by doing. I like to give my son as interactive a role in things as possible. And if he wants to do something himself, I always at least let him try unless it's unsafe. When we got to the self-checkout, he confidently told me he could do it by himself. So I let him. There are about 10 self-checkouts uh, in one line for all the machines. So people don't line up behind individual machines. Mm -hmm. He was he was a lot slower than I would have been, but he managed to do it all with my supervision, even the produce. As we started to wheel away, a woman walked up and slammed her grocery store basket to, on the counter. And she said, thanks for doing that as slow as possible, a-hole. <laughs> I thought that was incredibly rude and uncalled for. Some people are slower than others. It is what it is. There were several other machines uh, being used and freed up, so we can't have made that that big of an impact on her wait time. Oh, this guy's not. No, no this guy's in the total right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the there's also, like, so butthole. many. I feel like when I get in line for those, I'm just, like, half these people are going to be slow. Yeah. yeah. When Whatever the next available one is, If you're this fine. was, like, TSA, I'd be like, yeah, don't do that. But this is <laughs> a grocery store. It's fine. Also, let kids have experiences. Yeah. Don't be, like, people who hate, well, people who hate kids are, I don't think that that's, like, normal like if you're like oh there's fucking kids here gross i also feel like if the kid was just like standing there like playing with his toy that same person would be like sure. spoiled brat right 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 <laughs> right yeah like... and it's yeah i this per the wo woman who slammed her like if you're mean to children you're always usually gonna be in the wrong yeah maybe yeah. that person was just having a bad day yeah on reddit though this one was labeled that you know how it says kind of yeah. like a, a whole this was an everyone sucks situation what? What? yeah because i think though some people were like maybe that's not the right time and place to like be trying to like let your teach your kid doing something where else um, yeah like still there's like the decency of like people gotta go and like shop and there's stuff not to the point where a woman, the woman is the asshole who's like that yeah. was really yeah. long but i think you should still have an awareness where it's like hey you're in a queue and like obviously if i don't know i'm just saying like, it, it is it is a little like it, but imagine if it wasn't a self-checkout lane and it was like a true line and maybe just imagine like a true line Right, and the kid is like trying to put in the credit card. That would be more like, be like okay, yeah. if there's one self checkout on. and he was there for yeah. doing it. She also it. said that he didn't take like that long. She was like, I would have done it quicker, but yeah. he like managed just fine. He did say it did take a little slower than expected. Sure, but like he's seven. Yeah, he's seven years old. Let the kid. It's at a grocery store. We're not. We're, we're not in like, <laughs> Afghanistan trying to take over the village. Like, <laughs> I it's, agree. It's I a agree. self checkout I'm a line. Conflicted, you know. Hmm. There's a show on Netflix about, like, you ever seen that show about uh, little kids? I think it's in Korea. 
where they get they have to go and like do adult tasks on their own. Oh, I've seen like TikToks of that. Oh my god, it's the cutest yeah. little show. <laughs> well, they start them like so young, like I even know. in Japan and everything. Like kids like ride the Japan it on might their be own. yeah. Aww. So they're like four years old, yeah. and it's like you have to take this dry cleaning to the dry cleaning place, <laughs> yeah. get the receipt, and then also pick up like this grocery list. And it's like a little kid with the basket so is as small. big as the kid, yeah. and they do it. Uh, like, I've seen TikToks of pe- like girls doing that with their boyfriends. <laughs> oh, go, like, yeah, like, go, go get store. me tampons. Yeah, yeah, or like random stuff. That's they... so funny. The like, the little kid they'll give them money and they'll like buy candy and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. They're just, like, <laughs> yeah, here. And they, or, and they know that they have like I was supposed to buy fish, beef. They'll like buy vegetables. Like they know it's like something yeah. useful, but it's not what they were told to do. But they'll do that in candy, Aww. and they're like, Aww. and all the adults are like very supportive. They're like, yeah. oh, do you need help? Like we should be nice to kids. I don't know. To me, it's just the lady who sucks here. Yeah, that lady is the a hole. Yeah, the bleep bleep. Teach the kids. Yeah, let, let them learn. Let them live. Okay. <clears throat> Am I the asshole for playing a joke on a Starbucks worker and then reporting her? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Yeah. What do you mean? Just wait. Oh god. So basically, I was ordering at a Starbucks and I did the classic dirty name joke. I've done this before, and every time the worker laughed and found it funny too. <laughs> I thought it was a nice break from the serious customers who just want to get their coffee and go and that they appreciated someone giving them some entertainment mid shift. <laughs> Clearly, I was wrong. That was me. That was me, everybody. Yeah. You're just in there waiting. Like, <laughs> like this is going to be good. Uh, is there a Janus here? A huge Janus? Uh, that was me, guys. He <laughs> says, Clearly, I was wrong and apologized for that. Um, I walked up, asked for a drink, paid for it, and gave her a name. A need Moorhead, which if your accent doesn't really work for this name, um, it sounds like I need more head in the area's native accent. Once my drink was ready, she read out the name and immediately realized what she had said. I raised my hand and started walking towards her to collect my drink, but she got this furious look on her face and hurled the drink across the room, with it landing at my feet and splattering all over my shoes. Oh, I just yelled, what the fuck? at this because obviously now I need to clean up my shoes which were vans <laughs> okay. okay big spender yeah. back at it again with the white vans yeah. <laughs> which were vans and also because I paid for my drink already I walked up to her and apologized saying that I thought it was a harmless joke and that it wouldn't piss anyone off and clearly I was wrong she accepted my apology but told me she wouldn't be making another drink for me I got pissed at this because I paid for this and Starbucks isn't cheap plus she had ruined my shoes as well I asked to speak to her manager <laughs> who then apologized for her and told her he'd remember this. I feel bad because Starbucks workers already deal with a lot of shit, and now I got one in trouble for something that I 100% caused. Am I the a-hole? Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah, because it's like... That's really (sighs) conflicting. I don't know. Just amp up your sense of humor. I think, like, (laughs) if you take this much pride in, like, doing the joke names... I don't think this girl's in... in the, the Starbucks worker threw a drink across yeah, the room. Yeah, that's insane. You're an asshole. Yes, yes. You shouldn't she be working. He sexually harassed her. <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, I agree. What, what? Wait, this is the, the... The guy on the cup, like, she yelled out, like, I need more head. Yes. Like, that's sexual uh, harassment. It's inappropriate. Okay. You don't know what this girl's been through? Yeah. It, Maybe the, the... Hold on, what are the... I guess how woke are we gonna be here? Well, no, no. <laughs> wait, how chunky? Just, just how for... chunky was she? <laughs> <laughs> what size were her? Who, wait, I, I thought there were I both think... women in the story. Sorry, I didn't realize oh, that. No, I think it's a guy. A guy. Okay, so it's a guy ordering the drink. Okay, and, and then a female worker. Got it. Threw it at his white vans across. <laughs> she should have. The worker throwing. I mean, that's just I think obviously it's like wrong. A both. Yeah, everyone sucks yeah. here. But I mean, I don't blame her for throwing it. Yeah, but I think I it's a little head. Is that? It's not. That's not that bad. Is that it? That is bad. I need more head. Mm-hmm. Well, like, what if you worked in an office and like you said that to one of your but you're female at Starbucks. coworkers? You'd be. Yeah, but she's think of all the shitty people she already has to deal with day in and day out, and then this fucking asshole comes in and is like, "Ha ha ha! I need more head." And it's she's different like, than God. Amanda. It's different than Amanda hug and kiss. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm 
Donald Trump right now. Like, I'm just kind of like, well, I don't know. It's kind of like need, Donald Trump. I need just Moorhead. Qu- could just quit I mean, doing sorry, the Andrew Tate. joke thing. Like, I'm Andrew Tate right now. I just don't think it's like that bad. I feel like those things just happen all the time. And I feel bad for Starbucks workers because yeah. they're probably like, so fucking annoyed of it. But it's like, I guess I'm just thinking if it were me, I'd just be like, oh, LOL. I need whatever. more head. It wasn't. That's also not the worst one. Like, <laughs> like Mike Hunt. That's a crazy oh, one. Oh, yeah. 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 I guess what Aaron's saying, though, is like, it's it's, it's like she's saying it. Right, right, right. Yeah. For I get, me, I would. I feel like her throwing the drink would be warranted. I feel like it was warranted. Yeah. Oh, I just know, like working in the service industry, like I'd be fucking fine. Like they just cannot do you that. You can't no, do that. No, I know you can't do it, but I feel like she probably felt like fuck this, and yeah, she's of like, course. I'm done. I agree with that. I don't blame her for doing yeah. it, but yeah. I don't think she sucks for doing it, but like she'll probably for, face If that's the thing that sent you over the edge, like I, I, I don't go to Starbucks. Like ever. You also don't work at Starbucks. No, no, but what I, I, I didn't, re- I've been a few times and I didn't think it was a real thing, but like the few mm. times that I've been to Starbucks, the people there are fucking rude. Really? Uh, no, no, no. The, the, well, that the, location you go to probably. The customers, like, yeah. I, like women will just walk in and like, it's not ready yet. No, yeah, I ordered yeah, on the yeah. app three. And I'm like, that's it's why it's exhausting. like they probably deal with so much shit. Yeah. Like, people are screaming at these Starbucks. I'm always like, hey, how you doing? Uh, can I just get one of the, and people behind me are like, I ordered this yeah. uh, eight minutes ago and it's not ready yet. <laughs> can, I just like, okay, I get that. Don't be an asshole. Yeah. And the Starbucks people are dealing with a lot. But if Anita more, I need more head. <laughs> is the thing that makes you projectile launch a full <laughs> cup of coffee at a customer maybe you're not in the right industry because i feel like that's the not that's not as bad as it could get working at a starbucks i guess i feel like someone's saying I think it's a little bit dr- like i just feel like it's a little dramatic uh, again like i get why she did it yeah. yeah i don't blame her for doing it but i just feel like like i'm not giving you this drink and that's like uh, yeah well then that was the whole reason why he called the manager was because she wasn't going to give him another drink oh uh, well then that's stupid yeah like so you can't like, expect one, a drink you if... first like uh, technically sexually harassed this woman and then you got her in trouble because she wouldn't give you more for after doing something bad to her already what if there's actually a woman named a need more head to make right here <laughs> Yeah. And then Moorhead, I know, I know, last name Moorhead. Yeah, Moorhead is a last name. Yeah, yeah. and like Anita isn't that crazy. Anita is a, yeah normal name. Anita, Anita Moorhead. Moorhead. Well, this was a man. <laughs> Do it in Italy. It I need, was I need the man. Moorhead. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think everyone sounds like a guy. Sucks. Obviously, working just in the stop, service industry is it. just don't harass workers. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it's with people the names. who are just trying to work their their jobs, like. Uh, I yeah. Do that's, their jobs. When you, whenever yeah. I see also like a customer using a service employee as their like therapist, like this line's pretty long, huh? What's going on today? Oh, just fucking just, shut the fuck up and order your order drink. This person standing on. back there the whole time. Yeah, people move are on. people Nightmares. are mean to service workers. It's yeah. in, I, oh, I know. Cringe. The amount of times I cried working at a Panera was mm-hmm. like insane. Ugh, I can't. It's unbelievable. They see that at, like, department stores, I remember, like, calling over the intercom, some, like, stupid name. Oh, really? But, yeah. Oof. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, obviously, as Matt likes to say, all respect to employees of Starbucks, but... Yeah, of course. I don't know. It's, I, I've personally seen what I believe to be worse treatment of a Starbucks employee than a Being joke sexually name. sexually harassed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just feel like, yeah. Okay. We'll see. Do you text them to yourself? Yeah. No. Uh, so you, I do through your text. Oh, I, you, you do? I text yeah. them to myself, yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm nervous. Uh, am I the asshole to, for refusing to bow to my Korean fiance's grandparents? My fiance is a Korean American and I am American. We've met each other's parents before, and she's met my grandparents, and I've yet to meet her grandparents because they live in Korea. We're planning a trip to Korea soon, as it's possible, as soon as it's possible, so that I can meet her grandparents. She's asking me to bow to her grandparents when we meet, since respecting elders is a big deal in career culture. Not just a casual dip, but a full 90-degree bow. I'd rather not... I said, Shit bow. I said, I said, I'd rather not since I found it emasculating and I, that I don't just bow to anyone. Oh she said God. it was important to her culture, but I pointed out that she doesn't bow to my grandparents or parents. I think it's just Ugh. hypocritical to expect me to bow to her grandparents, when she doesn't bow to mine. Her grandparents aren't <laughs> superior 
because of their age. Why should I have to bow? She said it's one tiny thing to earn the respect and said that uh, it should be fine if I don't do. Oh, that it was it was so tiny. It should be fine. I should do it. And I said I respect myself and that's why I'm not going to bow. And she was just going to dumb. respect my decision. She thinks I'm an asshole. He is yeah, an he asshole. is an asshole. This is just dude wear a fedora. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you fucking no. kidding me, dude? The fact that he's like, she doesn't bow to mine. It's like, yeah, your grandparents aren't Korean. Yeah, it's yeah. not a part respectful. of your culture. It's not a part you of your shake culture. hands with people. It's just like, what? what's the issue here? Yeah, because he doesn't want to feel emasculated. Yeah, this yeah, guy sounds like a like Joe Rogan, Andrew, Andrew Tate. Tate. Yeah. Yeah. He spends a lot of time like <laughs> on the computer. Yeah, he's... Dude. It's like, also like you what? don't respect your future wife enough to just be like, okay, honey, no problem. Like, grow up. You know who never uses the word emasculating is a masculine man. <laughs> yeah, yes. If you say, 100%. If you say this yeah. is emasculating, you're a fucking beta cuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Tea. What a um, loser. Yeah. And like, it's just, this guy just so clearly. So disrespectful. And so rude. disrespectful. Bowing is like. I couldn't like, imagine being in like another country and like someone asked me to bow to them, a stranger, I'd do it. I couldn't imagine it being my partner's family. Oh, yeah. And making a big deal yeah. about it. It's like shaking hands. This, yeah. this girl shakes hands or gives a hug. Oh, I'm not going to hug because we're not sexually intimate. Like, <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking crazy person. Yeah. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. I think when it has to do with cultures, it's like. Respect the like, culture. shut up and just do... Yeah, unless it's something crazy. If but... I went to Carly's house and she was like, oh, you have to bow to my dad. <laughs> and know. she's like this like white Italian Irish girl. I'd be like, okay, sure, no yeah. problem. Yeah. Like, yep. like yep. I wouldn't requires... even fucking ask why. Uh, yeah, I know, yeah. What, if, like, it, what sure. if it was like a get on your knees and do like the, uh, uh, like one of these, like the, <laughs> the idol. Dad, yeah. But it's a prank. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably still do it. Like, I don't want to be disrespectful to anyone. Yeah. Like, I would yeah. probably be like, oh, like, is he religious? Like, and ask questions, but like yeah. I'd still do it because like that's the right fucking thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. This guy just sounds like a colonizing white fucking <laughs> yeah. asshole. Loser. He's like, yeah. It's not gonna work out. I'm a man. No, no. it's not gonna work out. Not a chance. Also no. the the idiocy of like, well, she doesn't bow to my white grandparents. Why should I bow <laughs> yeah. to her Korean? It's like, dude. Because that's not your cult. There are culture. You dumbass. It seems a little so emasculating. Easy. Get. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I hate this guy. Yeah. Okay. Thank Let's God. find him. Let's find him and. In- Chop off his dick. <laughs> Not okay. just like a casual dip, a full on 90 degree <laughs> bow. <laughs> like, like, how hard is that? I'd rather not. It it's takes, emasculating. And I don't, don't, I don't just bow to anyone. I have, I've never gotten to bow to anybody. It sounds like an honor and a privilege. I used to, when I used to do Taekwondo three times a week, we, we do oh, bow at the beginning yeah. and end of every yeah, class. Yeah, it's part of the culture. You yeah. gotta do it. It's like, a, I think it's yeah. beautiful. It is nice. A, a good, you <laughs> good keep job. your knees straight. Yeah, there you go. Ow, ow. <laughs> Your hamstrings in are tight. Of, in front of Granny. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Um, okay. Your turn. Ready? Okay. Am I the asshole for giving my daughters better parking spots than my sons? I, 50 male, have two daughters that are twins. They're both 27. And I have two sons, 29, 25. All my kids have similar professions and work for themselves as lawyers and notaries. Jeez. My wife and I own real estate and rent property for a living. We recently <laughs> we recently decided to help our kids out by giving them each an office in a high-rise building with an Jesus. underground parking spot each we own four offices in the building all of comparable sizes i did not think much of it but i gave the two better parking spots to our daughters they are a little wider and are really easy to get into both our sons got worse spots that need a little care to park as they are near pillars and at an awkward angle my daughter told me that while they really appreciated the gift they felt i was being misogynistic by giving them these spots and implying that it is harder for them to park because they are women i thought i thought they would have appreciated the nicer spots and back when my wife used to work in one of the offices, she used to like the nicer spots, and we did not rent those. Am I the asshole? Those kids are fucking annoying. Yeah, yeah. that uh, everyone. I would there. be like, thanks. Now I don't have to like worry about parking. No, like, or the... like, I I thought that they were doing it. Oh, like they're girls. Like it'll be safer closer. in a parking garage. Yeah, yeah. So it's closer. closer to the building. Never once was I like, oh, because I'm they're worse at parking. Yeah. Shut the fuck. Well, up. no, that, yeah. that is. I don't think that's closer to the building. I think it's just like wider. It's an easier parking like space. A, yeah. I thought this well, was she, gonna be she like. She said they were better. Why are they? favoring the daughters yeah. that's an asshole move to favor your daughters like why why are we not equal for me it was like a safety thing yeah, I, yeah. if it were like oh it's closer to the building i'd be like oh yeah give them to the girls because they can't walk at night yeah, yeah. yeah. or but, like in a garage so scary yeah but 
But women are worse drivers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with a Tesla, though, you can fit into anything. Yeah. I can see everything. I'm not worried about it. But also, just like I as s- a woman, I'd be like, cool, thanks. No, literally, literally to park. Yeah. Well, yeah. It yeah. sounds like they, these parents, though, like, own their kids' cars, too, at the same time. Oh, and they're, like, worried about... Yeah, or like the dad's like, oh, I got, I bought both of them Mercedes, and I don't want them <laughs> so like the digging one, them so up. Like, why are we complaining in the first place? You're getting like an office space yeah. for free. Yeah. Yes. You're, all your shit's fucking free. You got free. a nice like, career. Shut the You're fuck a lawyer. Yourself. You yeah. own the fucking building that you work. Like, yeah. get up. Uh, the, the parking fee. Like, yeah. You gave me the nicer, bigger <laughs> You're one. You're misogynistic. Uh, and no, it's I'd like, be like happy up. that it would be bigger. If it was small, it I'd be so annoyed. Cool. He's bragging about like we own real estate. I know. This is just saying like it's just fucking building, and you have these spaces get to the point like yeah. he wanted to like explain his whole like uh, uh linkedin <laughs> <laughs> it's all linkedin yeah no I, I don't know this like it just like reeks of privilege and like yes, yes. i don't know it feels like they're complaining to complain like you're misogynistic like shut, shut up. up now i hope they're not jewish <laughs> who are these people I don't weird. know. That sounds like a family I would not want to hang out with. No. One of the comments, I don't have it with me, but I was like reading some of the comments and someone was like, this sounds like a trap. Because <laughs> it kind of is. It's like, uh, well, I just wanted you to have the nicer one. Yeah. I'm not, but no, I guess totally. if you think it's misogynistic, oh, fuck, you know. I'd I can't like, okay, believe that then... that's the thing. That like, oh, you gave me a better parking spot. I'm pissed because that's misogynistic. I would be pissed that I didn't get the better parking spot. Yeah. Hey, mom and dad, why do you give it to, what are they, your favorites? Yeah. I want the better parking spot. Sounds like succession. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Never saw it. Shiv. Fighting. Mm. All right. Am I the asshole for showing my twin sister's OnlyFans to our parents? <gasps> I, 18 female, and my identical twin sister, also oh. 18 female, obviously, well, kind of... <laughs> have always had a uh, competitive relationship. Uh, we've always fought over everything, guys, clothes, friends, etc. But our relationship came to a halt a few weeks ago when a mutual guy, friend of ours, sent me a link to an OnlyFans profile with an attached message that stated, this you? Confused, I clicked on the link and was shocked to discover that the profile belonged to my twin sister. The profile image of her was clearly a scantily clad image of her, and the username was my nickname that literally everyone in my life uses. I asked our friend about it, and he told me that he had discovered the profile through Twitter and then subscribed to the profile, which included dozens of videos of her doing spicy things, to say the least, solo and with partners, <gasps> all of which her face showing. I was floored and in a fit of rage showed the profile to our parents. I mean, literally anyone who saw that profile that knows us would immediately assume that's me, considering she's basically going by my name. Our parents forced her to delete the profile and she hasn't spoken to me since, claiming that I not only ruined her main source of income, but that I also betrayed her trust. However, I think that she betrayed my trust by going by my nickname. Good reading, Matt. Am I the a-hole? Well, this one's you, tough you, for me. You put it a little bit of character tough. development I in there. I wish that she... Okay, I think she's the <clears throat> ass- asshole for just going straight to the parents and not to her sister. She should have asked her to change the nickname. Yes. So it wasn't her, and then it wasn't her deal anymore. But they're also 18, so it's hard to, like, say. Cause yeah, like, when you're 18, basically. that's like going to the police. Like, going to your parents, <laughs> yeah, you know? Like no, you go, totally. You, you, don't sue, you don't sue someone when you're 18. You, Mom? Dad? Yeah. But I think the girl who started the OnlyFans using the other sister's that's nickname. Weird. That's weird. But what about also just being identical twins? I feel like that was a whole <laughs> conversation she should have had, like, with her twin. Hey, I'm starting this OnlyFans. No. Nah, because it's like, she has her own Yeah, she's well, her then, own can all start OnlyFans and be like, that's my twin sister. Yeah, that's not me. Yeah, that's my identical twin sister. I don't like. I don't know. It's actually of... not a bad idea if you want to start an OnlyFans and be like, "My twin sister is starting an OnlyFans. Follow her that's here." So yeah. obvious. No. <laughs> it is just like Carly. Everyone knows she doesn't have a twin yeah. sister. I'm like wearing the same earrings. Yeah, yeah. you should. Yeah, do it. <laughs> uh, well, this was a uh, not the asshole. Um, yeah, I think. Th- well, the linchpin of the whole thing is that the twin the sister linchpin. Yeah. My whole thing is like I've never heard that phrase in my life. The linchpin of the of this story like is the moral that she of the story? like the whole crux of it, yeah. the fulcrum, if you will, yeah. is that she used the sister's name. So Nick it's clear name. that she's trying to pass the yeah like oh, that's so her, identity that would off. Make her yeah, asshole, oh, yeah. that's not me. She she wants plausible deniability. Yeah, using her sister as the culpable agent. So, I wonder what her nickname is. 
Like if Big it was boobs, like, like if it was <laughs> no, slim, you know, like not chunky, like anything related. Chunky, chunky, <laughs> chunky monkey. Slim. I'm only saying because I feel like on OnlyFans, a lot of people don't use their actual names. So like if her nickname was like Kitty or something, but like everyone calls her Kitty, right. and like that's how they identified her. Maybe her sister was just like, oh well, like my my name on here will just be Kitty. And They're think twin nothing sisters, of it. and they have a specific nickname. No, I'm, I understand that. I'm just saying, like uh, Mary Kate and Ashley. <laughs> She probably isn't like advertising on her social media that she has an OnlyFans. Like probably maybe was like no one from my town will ever see it. Right. Like devil's advocate. Am I the asshole for not postponing my engagement party? I I think I. If this this post comes off as blunt, I'm not trying to be. I'm just trying to get to the point and keep it as short as I can. My cousin passed in an accident last week, which is devastating. What's going on now is that me and my fiance have our engagement party coming up soon. My mom is telling us to postpone it because everyone in the family is going through a tough time right now. I told her we've, I told her we have everything, her, what? I told her everything is all set and it's going to be a hassle to change it all now. The venue does allow changes, but the earliest availability they have after our date is in April. No one postponed something like this last minute, and we don't want to have to wait until then. And I told my mom I'm truly sorry for what happened, but people attending our party can cheer them up after this tragedy. She said I was acting selfish. Am I the asshole? Sorry, one more time. Who passed away and what's the relation? Their cousin. cousin. So immediate family, basically. The co- the cousin passed away. Mm-hmm. And how how soon after was the wedding? Engagement no, it was, party. Engage- it was a party, an engagement oh. party. I feel like... I mean, I wouldn't even want to have it yeah. then because it'd just be like, first of all, I don't know if this person's mourning or not. Yeah. It's going to be like weird vibes. It's also like, why do you want to throw a party when this just happened? Yeah, an engagement yeah. party sounds a little easier to, if it was the well, wedding, yeah, you're it'd kind be, of- It'd be way trickier. Yeah, you're locked in, but like- And it says that they can change it. They yeah. just don't want to. I yeah. think it's like a little like- Well, maybe they were like the smelly weird cousin and everyone's like- <laughs> How <laughs> distant is the cousin? You know, f- or... I think it's like a first cousin. I would assume it's like the whole family is going to be there, and the, they're probably all just at the funeral together. But I like, I don't even know if the funeral happened. It was only a week ago. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that could be. But I, I could see both sides of it. It's like, hey, we were all just together for a funeral. Well, let's now all get together to celebrate love. Like, I want to mm. celebrate. Uh, let's. How much do you have to pay to like keep a corpse around before you have to <laughs> put uh, b- uh, bury it? I don't know. Well, don't the know. thing is, it's like I'm a type of person. If I died and there was like something that was planned, I'd be like, by all means, have the party, <laughs> just do the funeral. But if I'm going to be a by financial burge- or, or uh, uh, a burden where people are going to have to like be paying a lot of money to keep me around in my uh jews have the funeral you have to do it within like, 24 hours yeah. 24 hours yeah it's immediate dude it's crazy you gotta get on a flight like yep, that yep 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 oh and then Damn. you gotta sit shiva yes <laughs> oh boy <laughs> um, um but like yeah no I'm, it, well that so i don't know i see both sides of it i feel like it's a little icky. But, okay, like what little, about the parents? A compassion. If the aunt and uncle were like, let's still have the party. Or they're like, sure. we needed to have Ethan's funeral. I'd be like. But it seems like, like the mom was like, you should postpone <laughs> yeah. it. Like everyone's going through a lot right now. And like, it's just like going to be a Not weird a good time, time. And like, everyone's really sad. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I just feel, I would just feel weird. But yeah. having it. if it was me, I'd be like, have, have the party and then come. Cousin the Matt died, but it says in his will. Yeah. Party on, <laughs> fam. Party Engagement on. party. Party on, Keep it fam. on the cow. Huh. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. It's an engagement party. Yeah, yeah. I That's, mean, I don't think there's necessarily like a right or wrong. It's just kind of like weird. It just it's different circumstances, yeah. and it sounds like it's not a good circ. I think you are the asshole if you're like if you do if you're feeling bad and like everyone's telling you not to. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you're like necessarily an a hole. I just think it's a little ick. Yeah. And also, who are you marrying? Shouldn't they also be like your cousin just died? We're not yeah. having this engagement <laughs> Literally. party. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Am I the bleep bleep for giving out, for giving all of my coworkers a different reason for why I am missing fingers? I have three fingers missing on my dominant hand. It's fine. I can type and everything and can tie my shoes and most days. Um, However, I won't deny that it looks a bit odd to most people. I only have my fourth and fifth fingers. So my hand looks like a child's drawing of a rabbit. Not a good one. I'm used to people asking about it, staring for a good minute or two, and now I'm starting to get annoyed. I don't get why it would be an okay thing to ask somebody about it, but hey, I wasn't raised in a barn. 
I don't know what that means. Uh, I usually nip the question in the bud by explaining the truth from the get-go and assuming that enough people will gossip about it that the message will spread by the end of the day, and it always does. Anyway, I started a new job about a month ago, and I couldn't face going through that same cycle again. I felt like the time had come to not play it into it anymore and make something out of it, so I wanted to make myself laugh. When the first new coworker asked about it, I lied and told her I chewed them off as a baby. Then I told the next person I cut it off with a plastic knife at a picnic. And the next person I was born with six and they accidentally removed too many and, <laughs> and so on. Uh, genuinely ridiculous reasons, but I'm a good actor and they believe my stupid lies. I didn't expect them to believe it. A plastic knife through a bone. But hey, there you go. Maybe they just thought there's no way I would lie about how I lost my fingers. Within about three days. Oh, no. Hold on. Um... Within about three days, I learned that all my coworkers had been arguing about the actual reason, and it seems like a lot of them now actively dislike me for lying to them. I'm probably going to have to make some cupcakes over the weekend with my 3D printed <laughs> adaptive whisk to get, back, <laughs> to get back into their good graces. Anyway, I told my brother this t story, and he told me that I am the asshole because I caused tension within the, within the office on my first day and made people feel stupid and gullible for believing my lies. My argument is that I'm not the asshole because they were asking a rude, although common question, and because I didn't do it with the intention of deceiving them, I was just fed up with the question. I don't think that they'd actually have severed three fingers with dental floss when I was three years old, <laughs> but I'll accept my judgment. Not uh, the asshole. No, I think it's funny. This guy's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah, really funny. He's also like, right, it's like none of their business, and like you can't get mad at someone for you prying into their life. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I you, can't imagine no, seeing someone, like, the first day of work, seeing someone missing a limb or, yeah. like, fingers. What like, what happened? What happened? I mean, little yeah, thingies. Also, multiple <laughs> yeah. people. Yeah. yeah everyone at work. I so think funny. it's funny, because even if I asked and she told me that and I found out it wasn't true, I would think it's funny. Yeah, that's... A hundred percent. Like, I, mean? I feel like you have to have, like, enough common sense to know that he's yeah. kidding. I cut, I cut it off with, with a plastic, plastic fork. fork at a picnic. Yeah. <laughs> Or the best one is I was born with six fingers and then they removed too many accidentally. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that one's it's funny. unbelievable. Yeah. yeah got, all of them sound like jokes, though, too. Like yeah. Every single one. I wonder where, what like the environment is. It seems like they're probably all older. It's like probably in an office yeah. where they all just like have to do something stupid every day. I had a teacher in high school that had a hand like that. How long are you with a friend? Uh, yeah, I had a friend. With How long? This is bad. Maybe like, how long are you friends out. with them before you ask? Yeah, what like if I didn't, if I had, had, didn't have an arm, Mike, how long us being friends? Would I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't talk to you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what do you What do you mean? I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, okay. Like if I met, I'm just that was a joke. But I'm. I, I think though, after like I've known someone for over like six months, I'd be like, if you don't mind me asking, why? Yeah, what is this? Yeah, I would ask after a, like if I uh, knew them pretty well, I'd be like, yeah. I'm sorry if this is like crossing a line. I'm just curious why. Yeah, I have a friend that I've known for years that has like something weird in his hand and i've never asked I, what do you I, mean I, something weird uh well it's been like i have two have had two friends that like they're like missing like half their finger or like one of them just like looks really like strange and oh and you've never asked never asked that's mm. really polite of Can you yeah it is what it is <clears throat> yeah i, I just think you well, I don't think I you have to. Have to really. It also depends truly on the relationship. If I feel yeah. truly comfortable with someone, I'll. I ask. also kind of like the mystery. Like whatever it is, is not going to be as cool as what, is, as what it actually is. Like, like I can oh, I'm make just, up like, missing a ligament. Yeah, like so it's going to be something boring, and I'd rather like, oh, man, what fucking happened? Did you like, hear yeah. Surfer Girl is like uh, the girl who got her arm bitten off oh. by the, the shark? You know that girl? Mm -mm. She's like transphobic or something now. <gasps> Oh, God. Everyone's like, no, the surfer girl with one arm. She was so, yeah, I remember that happening when we were younger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was like this whole, she had a movie about it. She was her. always just like in like teen magazines with her surfing yeah. and like no one. It made arm. me so scared of the ocean. I was like, yeah. oh, God. Um, next. Not the okay. ass. Am I the asshole for giving my ex-wife a large amount of money I won despite the anger of my girlfriend? I recently won a fuck you amount of money. I won't say exactly how much, but it's in the millions. It makes me feel it makes me feel funny even typing it's enough to change the life of myself and my family. My ex-wife is the mother of my two kids. She's an amazing woman and good to the bone. We divorced six years ago because I had an affair with my current partner. I was in a low place in my life and I really fucked up. She was an incredible person. She was in incredible pain, like a fucking saint. She allowed me to still see our kids, who mean the world to me, allowed our divorce to be as pain-free as possible, despite the fact that I know she was hurting. She still is close with my parents. She is respectful to me, even though she refuses to talk to my girlfriend. She was actually the first person I phoned after my mom and pops, after I found out I won the lottery. 
Oh, so I guess it was a lottery. Uh, she was pleased for me, joked that I could take the kids on a world round trip, and that was that. Nothing else. As soon as I won, I knew I wanted to give her a significant amount. I still love her. She's the mother of my babies, and I feel like this is some small, tiny way I can show her that I'm not a complete fuck up. She deserves to know that I care despite my mistakes. She also works a shitty job in the public library, which pays her peanuts. <laughs> she would actually be able to pursue her hobbies this way. Aww. Give our kids a better life between us. Um, I haven't discussed this with my ex yet, but I have with my parents who strongly agree and my lawyer who is very surprised, but on board. Long story short, when I told my girlfriend, she was livid, screaming that I'm disrespecting her, accusing me of still being in love with my ex-wife. I'm not in love with her. I just love her as a person. We've both grown apart, but of course, I still love her for being an excellent co-parent partner and mother to my kids. My girlfriend is threatening to break up with me. And to be honest, I feel incredibly relieved over the threats. <laughs> I don't plan on changing my plans. And, but I'm no. an asshole. Obviously, this guy's no. a stand-up dude and Ooh, this yeah. woman is yeah. a nightmare. Yeah. He should give her all of the money, yeah. first and foremost. No, literally. <laughs> like, here's the millions that yeah. I want. Yeah, and obviously this woman sucks for, like, being with this married man yes. already. And being then the other woman. trying to, like, be in the middle of him and his ex-wife, like, co-parenting. Also, it's and, like, for the kids. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's not oh, like so for... you care about the kids you had with her? What about yeah. me? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. She's your ex-wife for a reason. Matt, take, take, the, side, on, take the side of the girlfriend. We're going <laughs> on a cruise, you and me. You know how long I've wanted to go on a carnival cruise. <laughs> We're doing that. We're going. I think it'd be one We're thing. Buying... He just won the lottery. <laughs> he wants to give it to his ex-wife. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> this woman sounds like a nightmare. I know. Yeah. Like the title makes it sound really bad, but I think it's fine. It'd be different if the if the girlfriend felt really guilty and was like, "Please give her the money." No, this girlfriend is, and also the fact but that he's saying not. I'm relieved by the threats. Like, yeah, like I think it was a breakup. Get with out her. of the relationship. Yeah. What if the ex-wife uh, ex finds this post and she's like, "So I make peanuts at the <laughs> library." <laughs> you know what? Keep the money, Dale. Keep the money. It's yeah. so sweet that he's just My like hobbies. Like I want her to be able to do her hobbies, <laughs> and you know, it's yeah, for our kids, I, and I mean, I, she's good to the bone, and she made her divorce really easy. Even sounds though like I this guy up. went through a rough patch. Yep. Fucked and, up. Yep. The woman took advantage of him mm -hmm. and was like, well, now you're with me mm -hmm. and he's not having a good life. It seems like she's probably really detrimental to his most relationships in his life. Yes. Yes. Cut Fuck her this out. woman. Yeah. Well, I agree. Give your ex-wife the money so she dumps you. Yeah. But like she's not. Maybe gonna... then you can get back together with the ex-wife. I know. Honestly, I'm like rooting for it. I know. Like, he seems very remorseful. I'd watch this movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good movie. <laughs> that is a good movie. <laughs> what movie? <laughs> I was pulling up my topic. No, we were just joking. Sorry, it'd be I was a good like, movie. I'd watch this. Uh, well, what, what, and then you're what like, would it be what called? Movie? Like Lucky in Love? Lottery. Lottery Lo Love? Lottery Lovers? Ooh. X Lottery. The Winning Numbers. Oh, that's really the good. Numbers. Like Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. Long but... Love Luck. Or... <laughs> Live Laugh Lottery. Live Laugh, Live, laugh, laugh Lottery. Old. Um, okay. <laughs> Am I the asshole for wanting to name my kids after Harry Potter? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the Next. title. The title. <laughs> Next. The title. Made... Oh, you don't want to hear it, are right. you? No, 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 no. I do. I do. I do. Right. I want to name my the kid Hagrid. <laughs> She's a girl, but. <laughs> the, the title might make me look like an a-hole, but please bear with me. So my wife is pregnant, and we're having a twin. We're having twins. I suggested the names Fred and George if they are boys, and both Lily and Molly for girls. My wife is okay with Lily and Molly since we both have multiple deceased relatives and extended family with those names, but it would and it would be honoring them first and the book names later. But she called me an a hole for wanting to name our kids after some book character. It or Fred and George. Sorry, Fred they're and George. Twins. Oh, they're the, the, twins in Harry Potter. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. And I honestly don't understand since her P I don't understand her POV since it's not on the nose like Crumb, uh, Filch, or Dumbledore. <laughs> so judges, I am I the a hole here? You just sound like kind of a fucking idiot. I know. Yeah. Well, I don't I, know. I really like I don't... Harry Potter, so I want to just. I mean, name... I don't think you're an asshole. I think you're just like a, a goofy dummy. Yeah, you're naming human beings. Don't be like, well, I like Harry Potter. And yeah. like, you're naming a set of twins. Yeah, after who, Harry like, Potter in the twins. Future, they'll be like, wait, your names are Fred and George? <laughs> like Harry Potter? This guy sounds like a fucking idiot. 
don't know. know if he's an asshole. He just sounds no, stupid. Yeah, I don't think he's an asshole. I thought it was a funny one. Yeah, it yeah. is. Also, I thought it was like, going to be like Dumbledore and <laughs> Dumbledore and Hagrid. And moaning Myrtle. Yeah. <laughs> Dobby. I, I, I also thought maybe there was going to be something about like the fact that the author is very transphobic and you oh. don't want to be like associating. Oh, yeah. That like, too. I've seen like a lot of people with Harry Potter tattoos that are like getting them removed because it's. Oh, you know, wow. Shit. Not, it's crazy. My cat has never seen Harry Potter. I haven't either. You, huh? <laughs> I haven't either. You can, we like, should read them for book club. I read. No. I read the first They're really one. They're really good. The I know. I just, Carly just doesn't like worlds, like Wait, other worlds. I don't like other. I like real reality. Uh, boring book club. Colleen Hoover. <laughs> well, yeah. They're in a world. book club. Yeah, we have a book club. Yeah, but you wouldn't like the books that we read. Oh, was like the people like... we meet on vacation. <laughs> yes, literally. Yes. The book club. Um, Schindler's List the was seven... our first book. That was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to think of intellectual books. The Seven Wives of Evelyn Hugo. Yeah. yeah. Well, that oh. wasn't a book for but a book club. It, it's a good but, one. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're Mona on like, Lisa's... our seventh book. We read um, the nonfiction Mona Lisa's <laughs> Smile. Life in her. Oh. In her. What's Town. that book? Infinite Infinite Jest is this month's pick. Get out of here. Good luck. You're lying. They're lying. Why? Good luck. There's no During way. During Women's History Month, you're going to think that we're not educated enough to interpret this Good novel. Good luck. Good luck. I can't even finish that book. I've oh, read so it what, twice. You're better than that. You're yeah. better yeah. Bullshit, Carly. Why is it bullshit? Um, what, okay, where, what's the setting of Infinite Jest? I haven't read it. I'm it's just our saying. March pick. It's March 2nd right now. Okay. Good luck. You need to read it. You're being so condescending. Yeah. Why don't you read a book by a woman? Imagine if you we were like, I'm going to make a YouTube read... video and I go, good luck. Do you know who the best female writer I think is of all time? Is Colleen Donna. Hoover. Don't say J.K. Rowling. Donna Tartt. Donna Tartt. Donna Tartt. Not Colleen Hoover. Donna Tartt is a national treasure. I Colleen watched... Hoover's a very quick, good writer. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm kidding. She can really bust out a story. But... I watched uh, that interview with Charlie Rose and Donna Tartt from like 96. She's just a babe. Man. Yeah. I just, I, I just, just don't to, think our book club. I love, I love William Faulkner. Are He's you guys just, actually reading Infinite Jest for book club? Yes. No. What? <laughs> Who wrote Infinite Jest? What's his name? Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Keaton. <laughs> Michael Jones. David Foster Wallace. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I haven't got it from Amazon yet. I don't know. Yeah. I don't like reading books by people who have off themselves. Oh, it's kind of it's like Sylvia, oh yeah, y'all don't know David Foster Sylvia Wallace, Plath? Sylvia Plath, David Foster Wallace, like these these people who ended their own lives. Why do I want to know what they were thinking? Because yeah, they... the, bell, the bell jar though is like pretty essential. Like, yeah, we read that I... one last month. <laughs> <laughs> the bell jar like really shows like someone I don't know struggling. That is. Sorry with if that's a Sylvia tip. Plath. Okay, she no. put her head in an oven. Yeah, I know. What? Sylvia Plath. That's how she died. Yeah, yeah, she turned on the oven and cooked her fucking brain in the oven. Till she died. So, Learn that in I'm English. Not trying to laugh, it's just like insane. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Though she just like withstood that yes. and just died. Yes. Is this what the book is about? No, no, no. Well, oh, yeah, no, she, she could have written the book. Yeah, you're before. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> well, I thought maybe the, the book was like about it. The book, no, on, the book on Audible is also read by Maggie Gyllenhaal, and she does a really good job. Mm. Well, we don't stand because I do. she has Taylor Swift's scarf. Wait, what? T Maggie Gyllenhaal and Taylor Swift have beef. Anyways, really, you're expecting over. a thirty. You left your scarf at your sister's house. The sister being Maggie Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal's sister. However, you take my old scarf. I just like for someone who likes Sylvia Plath and poetry, it's astounding <laughs> to me that you won't even give Taylor a chance since she is like literally a poet. He said he doesn't like she Sylvia also... Plath because she killed. Her. No, he wouldn't read her stuff because she stuck her head in an oven. And you know who hasn't? Taylor Swift. And you know who has like probably more groundbreaking content put on planet earth taylor swift what about anthony bourdain you love anthony bourdain i know it's i like well, anthony bourdain i have a theory about that okay what, what about i don't Hunter think he, thompson i don't think Hunter he intentionally did that i don't think anthony bourdain did that intentionally well hemingway did he guys this is boring yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> what about hemingway <laughs> <laughs> well we could start our own book club yeah, oh, you guys will read the, the sun also rises a fantastic. Okay, book. we're doing Am I the Asshole? I ran out. Would I be the <laughs> asshole if I don't allow my daughter to come with the family on vacation? I have five kids, three with my first wife, 22 female, 16 male, 16 female, and two with my current wife, eight 
and six. Good Lord. We are planning a two-week trip to the Dominican Republic in spring of next year. My wife and I are paying for the youngest four, obviously, but as my daughter is an adult with a full-time job, I expected her to pay for her own part of the trip. This is by far the most expensive holiday we've ever been on and she and have been saving up for it for a couple of years. She only pays 300 euro a month for rent and utilities at her mom's house and shouldn't have any other large expenses as her car has been paid off for a year. When I told her she would be paying most of her own trip, she initially agreed and didn't have a problem with it. A week ago, I was confirming dates and prices with her before I booked and she decided that she no longer wanted to pay for the trip. I only wanted her to pay 1,400 euro for the trip, which is about 600 less than the price per person. I understand it's expensive for a young adult, but she had previously agreed knowing this is what I would expect her to pay and said she was saving for the trip. I also told her she didn't need to pay me all in one go, but that I needed at least 700 euro from her before I booked the trip and she could pay the rest within a year. I think this is reasonable. I've put off booking the holiday for the time being in the hopes she'll come around. I've told her that if she doesn't agree to pay the rest of the family, will start pay then the rest of the family will still go without her and she'll miss out she thinks it's unfair that she has to pay when i'm paying for the rest of the kids she pointed out when she pointed out we never went on a vacation like this when she was still a child and i'm therefore giving her siblings experiences she never got she also says her friend's parents still pay for them to go on holiday with their family my younger daughter is also upset about the possibility of going without her sister and says it will ruin the holiday for her. My ex-wife also thinks I'm being unreasonable as she agrees with our daughter about her not having the same experiences as the younger kids because we had less money when she was younger. My daughter's stepdad has offered to pay me the initial 700 euro, but I feel weird about taking the money from him. As an adult, I really think my daughter should take on the responsibility for paying for herself, but would I be the asshole if I don't let her come if she continues to refuse? How Can you read that again? again? Yeah. Oh my god, I was like, no. <laughs> She's twenty two. I, I, I had a little tough time following that. Can you can you resummarize? Okay. So this man okay. is taking his five children and I'm assuming current wife on vacation. They're aged twenty two, two sixteen year olds, and then like a s young children, like okay. whatever. And he asked his daughter to pay for her portion of the trip oh. but he's paying for all of the other kids to go and she initially was like okay sure but then kind of like changed her mind it was like this is a little unfair that you're making me pay for it and nobody else i don't think he's an asshole you do or don't i don't how old what's the age the oldest one is 22 she's 22 oh, and then i thought she was 26 she, no she's 22 but she also pays 300 dollars a month for rent and she makes good income right yeah but she can't afford it I don't know. I think there's like a little certain scummy. Degree. But then he also said that he, like her stepdad, offered to pay for her portion and he didn't want to take it. Oh, oh that's he, not. He, no. I think he's like trying to teach her yeah. responsibility, but it's like, if she in, in my eyes, off. I don't know how families like this work because I didn't really grow up with like siblings, sure. but I would think that they would still pay for it. Yeah. It seems a little like favoritism. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, like, I get it. She's 22, but that's still not. And my opinion, not old enough to have like a living, like a good amount of money to spend on vacations. And yeah, especially save. if the rest of your siblings are getting the treatment. Yeah, yeah, I would be a little annoyed. It's yeah. Also for me, it's like uh, oh, thinking here we of go. when I'm 22 years old, like fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah, that's yeah, so like, that's much a money. Lot. And, to, yeah. and to have it spent on a vacation for two weeks with like my younger siblings, it's like okay, would I rather allocate that to like my savings or like go on a trip with my family? To, I don't know where they're going, but Dominican like, yeah. what's more worth it for me at this point? Right. No, I agree. I just I don't think now's the right timing. It seems like he's trying to implement implement a form of discipline on like getting her used to that. She's once you reach past a certain age she needs to start like paying her portion for a trip or at least expecting to it's he's just saying pay for like what is it the airfare not no, the hotel the, the trip the trip in general seven, he wanted 700 up front and yeah, then like, but i also know some payment. kids who like oh i i have not established like that discipline with their parents and they expect every time they're going on vacations that they have to be paying everything or that their parents are going to pay for all their flights all the time um and Sometimes I just don't. I don't know. I feel like after once you make your own income, I think you can afford just to for a plane ticket. When at you're least. 22, I don't know. Yeah, maybe expensive. I'm wrong. I know. I think it sounds like he's trying. The timing's not right, but he's yeah. trying to. Um, the fact that he rejected the stepdad yeah. paying. That's weird. Then that's, it's like that's the. But 
Well, no, it kind of makes sense with what in his thinking, because he's like, if he's really trying to have her figure out her financials and right. be responsible it's like he wants that money to come from but her which makes vacation, sense in that situation don't, yeah. don't, I don't agree with it. teach lessons on family vacations like yeah yeah like if she was flying home or something sure, from wherever like she holiday, lives like yeah. maybe she should pay for that plane ticket because yeah. she has a job but like a vacation is different and also they're paying for everyone else but her i get it she's a little bit older but I don't think. I think if she was like thirty, yeah, she could yes, pay for it. Yes. I guess. Even like, oh, I don't want to like air out. Like for it's, we had like our engagement party, but there were like family friends were like they came, but then like their kids were supposed to come. Kids who were like our age, like twenty, or you're like older than the age of twenty five. Yeah. And because their parents weren't gonna pay for their plane tickets, they decided not to come. And I was like, so wait, what? Like, what? Like they're like twenty five, twenty six. Like if they wanted to buy a plane ticket, they they don't need to expect their parents to be paying for their plane ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Am I an asshole for saying that? No, I don't think oh. so. But that's where I thought like they're old enough, and like they talk about like oh that they make like good money and stuff. Like, what are you expecting like your parents to be? Because your parents are also in town. Old, yeah, that's weird. If you're 26 year old and you're still like, pa- expecting your parents to be paying for your plane ticket, I think like, that, like if, you really need to like. Have you been like these people have traveled assuming without their parents before, right? I guess. What's yeah. your relationship like with the the children? Me? Yeah. yeah. Are, are, are you we more... talking about the example I just gave? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, family friends so like, like are you but pretty are you close? close with the kids or would it be more pretty close of... to the kids to where like yeah. i've had they, they talked about like oh making money and stuff and that like the money's like good or whatever like i've heard them like hmm. talk about money moves yeah. but no least... no no she's asking like from oh. a personality standpoint are you like is it your Could... parents friends kids or is it people that you're friends with yeah because like, i let me... them know i wanted them to come yeah no because i was like if it was a situation where it was like my parents friends kids and their parents were like hey come with us yeah. to this thing you're like okay well if you pay for our ticket we'll go but like if not like yeah i'm, I'm, really I'm not like that good friends yeah. with matt yeah. and patricia that like i don't so i was just trying to understand the relationship do you think it was bad that i even no. like brought it up as an example and no. i was gonna hunt it down okay, i don't think anybody's gonna be able to hunt this down no yeah, no. <laughs> i could i was hunt just this down. trying to understand the context because i think like yeah i think as an adult you shouldn't expect people to pay for stuff but if it's like you're <laughs> doing like that if they want you to go somewhere and are like come with us and i'd be like okay are you gonna pay for it yeah like, I'm, the d- I'm not down i feel like if you're always paying for your kids flights they're all and as they become adults they're always gonna be expecting you to play pay for their flights well, like what if you go on a vacation on your own with your friends are your parents paying for that too mom i want to go to the bahamas can you pay for my flight <laughs> what no no I mean, I guess some kids love off their parents' credit cards, but yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I just think that he he should just pay for her. Trip. I agree. I know a She's lot like of people 22. who's She's like teen. <laughs> parents pay for their apartments, and it's like, what, what what was my the point I was gonna make? They're like, oh, it's so tough to live in L.A. or it's so tough oh, to live like, in New York, <laughs> and they're like, I have groceries and my gym, and I was like, and rent. They're like, well, no, my dad pays my rent, and I'm like, and you're complaining about not having enough money and your parents pay God. for your rent no must be nice people are just like so out of touch i know they really are <laughs> <laughs> they not really us here are. at good influences yeah. guys down no. to earth grounded yeah We're pretty we loyal. have empathy all right should we wrap it up yeah sure. one more one more sure mike you got one yeah yeah i got one do i do i have one uh, uh where did i write it okay <laughs> Am I the asshole for calling my coworker chunky after shooting? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, what? no. Uh, this one might be a little controversial. Okay. Love. I, 21, male, live with my childhood best friend, 22, also a guy, and we have done so for two years. Up until last week, things were perfect. However, he recently got a girlfriend, 23 years old woman, and she honestly seems great except for one thing. She has a complete aversion to knocking at the door. She and I have quite a lot in common. I enjoy spending time with her. But she just barges into my room without ever knocking first. She's never walked in on me doing anything untoward. Whatever. I don't know what that means. I'm usually just chilling on my bed or sitting at my desk. Maybe you should join our book club. Yeah. (laughs) Read Infinite Jest (laughs) by Michael (laughs) Keaton. (laughs) Read The Summer I Turned Pretty. You'll get it. Um, Now, she's never walked into me doing... However, at least seven separate occasions, she's done it first thing in the morning to ask if I want coffee. I sleep naked, and every time prior to the last one, I've been under the covers, and she hasn't seen anything, but I always point out that she could, 
but she just laughs and giggles and says, but I didn't. So when she stayed over last week, in order to make a point, I intentionally slept on top of the covers. Sure enough, she barges in at 7 a.m. and asks if I want my coffee and sees my you-know-what. She immediately backed out of the room and didn't speak to me for the rest of the day. My roommate later pulled me aside and said I was <laughs> bang out of order. I think this guy's Australian or something. Um, and accused me of deliberately exposing myself and pointed out that I had threatened to do it before. And I was like, okay, but what if I had no covers and you saw everything before? They're now framing this to others as I'm some sick creep who intentionally got oh naked God. and lay in wait of her because that's how I get my rocks off. And I kind of, and I'm kind of seeing how it came off that way. No. Am no. I the a-hole? It, it, it's his bedroom and she just barged in. If he was in the living room doing that, yeah, sure. Yep. Yeah. Here's so, my point to to take the other side. Has oh. he ever said, hey, can you knock before you come it into my room? It literally does not matter. It doesn't matter. But he, he also pays to live there. She doesn't. That's his private personal but it, space. But if there's been an established open door policy and he's never once said, but there hey, clearly has it. It doesn't matter because at, at one you point you're going to gonna be naked in your bedroom. No, you don't. You don't owe her anything. She you have to communicate. But you have to communicate if something is bothering you and you're like, hey, I would prefer if you knocked before you come into my room. I mean, yes, of course, that would be a great conversation to have. But like, she not... might have just grown up in a no knock house and like you get naked in the bathroom and the bathroom has a but, lock well, on it, so you're might good. Have grown up in an, a nudist mm. but colony. My, well, it's a hard knock life. <laughs> You know? <laughs> For us. No, but he warned her. He was like, you could come in and you could, I could just be naked. That's, and she not, was like, say, that's well, not saying, could you please knock? That's like being like, yeah, you could see me naked okay. next time. She's Imagine like, but I didn't. I, I was just at your house. You didn't know. I opened your door and you were naked. Do you think that was, that'd be on you? Uh, I think it would be on both of us. Maybe. <gasps> I, both of us. It, because if <gasps> I, what? first of all, I, I should have a lock on my door, right? You have, a, you have a lock on your door. So you, if you are naked, you lock the door. No, no, this is like, no, a, you're I, victim blaming. <laughs> yeah, no, you like, knock. I, I understand that you guys all knock. What I'm telling you is that there are people, not me, but I could see a world in which she like, if the door is locked, you don't go in. If it's not locked, go on in. No, but I'm saying it's like, in the house. You're all in the same area. If whatever. I no. in, if I walked into your room and you're just naked on top of your shoes, I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. If you've walked into my room a hundred times before and never knocked and I never said, hey, can you please knock? It's not necessarily but it's still on me. Yeah. That's her it's, fault. This is your bedroom. If you were doing this in the living room, in someone else's bedroom. What about if it's in a bathroom? Do you knock on a bathroom or do you just check to see if the well, handle's locked? Well, that's trickier because like sometimes the door is closed. And I think that's... I would normally knock if the door was yeah. closed. And if not, I would I open a, it slowly. I do with this kind of thing. But, okay, so if you jiggle, but if you jiggle it and it's not locked, do you knock? Or do you just go, all right. I'm I usually open it real slow. And I'm like, okay, no Also, I grew up in a house that didn't have locks on any door. <laughs> yeah, so people I'm just don't have locks. I'm not saying that this guy is wrong yeah. for for doing this naked prank i just think he could have communicated to her directly saying hey i would appreciate it if you knock before you come sure, into my room yeah. because it's clearly happened dozens of times this girl's just like well this is just what we do here I, every door is open it doesn't matter but do you think it's wrong that he did what he did uh is he wrong for sleeping naked on top of his sheets, like on purpose. I kind of think he, I think it's a little extreme. I think he could have <laughs> said, he could have before this, at least tried to say, hey, I'd appreciate it if you knock before okay. you come into my room, just in case I'm naked. But instead, it seems like they were like kind of flirting, like, ooh, you could have seen this me naked. It seems like some sexual tension. Yeah, and she's like giggling, too. she's like giggling, but I didn't. Men. <laughs> yeah. So, Mm. Uh, I, I like I could see this as like that's really traumatic for her to like oh, I come into God. this room I come into this no. room every day and now you're like intentionally <laughs> sleeping naked on top of the bed knowing I'm going to come into your room just ask me to knock or lock your fucking door bottom line if you walk into someone's he, bedroom was he laying expect like them to this? be naked yeah. was he laying like this or like on his <laughs> like, stomach was he like... or was he like <laughs> <laughs> tongue yeah <laughs> Did he like go, he's, he's like, come sit on my face, <laughs> Still on her, her fault. Interesting. No, she's, a, she's in the wrong. You cannot enter someone's bedroom. During, you can, but expect something yeah, you don't want to Women's see. History Month. How if, dare whatever. you? No, that, she's dumb. Okay. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. And the way people are like, he's a for, he's a creep. I'm like, no, he's literally just. She's a creep for going into her his bedroom yeah. all the time unannounced. Want some coffee? Like, I'm sorry, who are you dating? Yeah. <laughs> Which roommate are you dating here? Just hitting on him. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll Should see you in the comments, the... motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. I think you have a lot of people that agree with you. I don't know. I don't know if people will Let agree us know. With Let us know. Yeah, yeah, I'm very curious about this one. But thank you guys so much for listening slash watching. 
good influence. I almost said only friends. I know. That's me and Aaron's What's podcast that? if you guys haven't, you know, yeah. listened to it. Oh, wow. You guys do a different one? We podcast? do. It's called Only yeah. Friends. Matt and Mike have a podcast. They don't. They don't have anything. Hoot and a half. <laughs> this is women and a half. This is oh, right, women's right, right. history month. Unsubscribe right. from them and subscribe to ours. <laughs> no. Just for this month, at least. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Goodbye.